How's it going, y'all? If you want to do a stealth run for the Clucking Bell farm raid while doing the setup mission called Disorganized Crime, when you enter the cartel's garage, you want to ensure two things. Firstly, you want to ensure that there are no witnesses that are able to escape the garage. The second thing, you need to make sure that you wipe out the CCTV camera footage before exiting the garage. For example here, if you alerted the CCTV or the guards, there'll be a takeout witnesses timer at the bottom right of your screen. You want to ensure that this timer do not run out. Otherwise, you won't be able to do the stealth run unless you join a new session and restart the entire mission. As you can see here, I'm able to take out all the witnesses and now you have to go to the security room and then just interact with the CCTV to wipe out the records. With these two things done, you are able to do the clocking bell farm raid in stealth mode. Alright, next you just have to sabotage the vehicles by interacting with them once you sabotage them all. You just have to go to this locker room where you have to find a way to unlock the lockers. You want to go back outside to the compound right on top of these boxes. There'll be a yellow drill. You can use the drill to unlock the safe and find the key card which is needed for the finale. You can also drill all the lockers if you want. There'll be just small amount of money and sometimes there'll be nothing. All you have to do now is just exit the garage. Once outside, you just have to get on a truck that is carrying some clocking bell crates and just bring it back to Vincent. Also something worth noting before I show you the finale that you can unlock the straps bandana which is the tier 3 the clocking bell farm break career progress. If you alerted someone even though you're running in stealth run you'll be able to complete the second part which is complete scene of the crime using stealth and obviously you need to do it another time while using aggressive mode. However, for the first requirement, you need to complete the scene of the crime without being spotted at all. So I'm going to show you the no alert gameplay right at the end here. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful, wish to hit the subscribe for more future GTA videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time. How you doing in that box? Under the circumstances, your customary silence is a little concerning. Should I have added air holes? Cluck twice if you're in trouble. Okay, good. Now remember, when you burst out of that crate, you'll be in the heart of that operation. How you choose to use the element of surprise is up to you. This is it. Good luck. locations. Clear out all the stashes. There should also be a safe nearby. Grab whatever's inside. If you want to refresh your arsenal, don't forget the extra equipment you acquired. I've arranged for it to be left in the dumpster to the rear of the factory. Yeah, whatever you say, homie. Please keep it a little more quiet, man. What the fuck? Yeah, just don't fucking bother me, man.
What a bunch of casaca. Shit, man.
Establish a connection to the computer first. I read up on how to use the hacking device so we didn't end up unexpectedly fucked once we made it to this point. All you have to do is find where the signal is the strongest. If the device is showing blue, you're headed in the right direction. Red, you're not. Once it's caught the connection, find the next one. access code. Excellent work. Mission accomplished. 